Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to the video. In this video, I am going to discuss about a use case. The use case is, can we pass multiple set of data when doing post with object mapper? This use case can easily be solved with the help of parameterized concept of JUnit. But before going to the solution, let us discuss how we can create a parameterized test in a JUnit framework. So inside this test class, first I will add a test method. Now, in order to make sure that JUnit understand this class as a parameterized class, we need to use a annotation along with this class. And the annotation is at the rate run with parameterize dot class. So this will tell JUnit framework that this is a parameterized test. So this is the first thing you need to do. Now after that we need to create a variable that will hold the value of the parameter. Now in order to tell the JUnit framework that these are the parameter, we need to use the annotation along with this variable also. So at the rate parameter. And also you can define the index. So using this, you are telling that this is the second parameter and this is the first parameter. After that, we need to create a method that will supply the value for this parameter. So this is your second step. And the third step is to create a method for passing the value. The important thing which we need to keep in mind here is the signature of method should be public static and the return type will change depending upon your requirement. After that I need to use the annotation that is parameters. Inside this I will create an 2D object array that will supply the value for these two parameters. And initialize them here. Now again the second important thing is the number of row inside the object array will define the number of sets that is data set and number of column in the object array will define the number of parameter. So in this case there are two rows that represent two set of data and there are two columns that represent two parameter. And after that, I will just convert them into a list and return it. So return using the utility method. Convert this object array to a list. And here I can use this parameter. And let me run this test. So as you can see here, the same test got executed for two set of data. This is the first set and this is the second set and these are the value. So based on this index, it automatically copy the value to the corresponding parameter. Now I'm going to follow the similar approach for solving our use case. So I have kept entire data inside a file and data is in comma separated format. This is the brand name. This is the index. This is the laptop name and between them all other elements are feature. So we need to read this data from the file and then supply inside our post method. So the approach which I'm going to use here is 
first I will read the data from file. Store the data in a array list. Then create the object of laptop bag class. Create the object of laptop bag class for every entry inside the array list then use the parameterization concept to pass the object to the post request so this is the approach i'm going to use okay so first we need to create a method that will read the data from the file and for that i'm going to take the help of the class that is buffered reader inside this class there is a method called read line using which you can read the data from the file so here I will create a private method private static void get test data so first array list and after that I will create a try catch block a one more temporary variable inside this I will use do while loop now before that we need to create the instance of buffer reader to read the data from the file buffer reader inside this we need to pass new file reader and new file which will point to the test data file So here str which is a temporary variable for holding the data coming from the read line method. So in dot read line if null is not equal to str then add it to the array list. And the termination condition is str not equal to null. After that, close the file. And in the end, I'm going to return the array list. So because of that, we need to change the return type of the method. So this is done. These two steps are done. Now after that, we need to create the object of laptop back class, which will correspond to every entry inside this array list. So private static get laptop bag object so here again I will create the array list but this time it will store the type of laptop bag also I will get the data which is coming from file now as we have all the data inside the array list so we need to iterate over the array list and for every entry we need to create the object of laptop back class so here I will use for each loop again null check So as you can see here the data here is 
in the comma separated format so I'm going to split every line and that split will give me the array of string object and based on the index I will extract the required information for example if I want to get the brand name I will just extract the information which is at the zeroth index so here I will create the object of laptop bag a bag dot set brand name and before that we need to split our data based on comma separated so string a data equal to entry dot split and the character is comma so a data of zero is the brand name similarly ID and laptop name so this is at length minus 2 so a data dot length minus 2 and laptop name which is at a data dot length minus 1 and we need to add the feature also so a bag dot set feature so here first I will create the object of feature class then create one more array list for holding the feature then iterate over this array and add it to the feature list after that add this list inside the feature object so features dot set feature and then return this object after that I need to add this object inside our list so inside the for loop I will add a bag okay so let me move this line of code here and let me return this list so we need to change the return type of our method to array list of laptop bag so let me refactor this piece of code I will create one more static method private static the return type of this method will be laptop bag and name is get laptop bag and the argument to this method is string and entry so this is done uh, let me call this method inside our test method to make sure that we are reading the data properly from the file and putting it inside the array list and let me comment out this piece of code as well as this one I'm going to put a debug point over here and all subsequent methods and run the script in a debug mode so first we will read the data from the file
so inside our test data okay so the data is coming properly from the file to our array list then we will create the instance of laptop bag So as you can see here, there is a mismatch in the feature. So let me kill this. And instead of using for each loop, I will run the loop in an index based. So this will be int i equal to one. i is less than a data dot length minus two i plus plus. And this will be a data of i, and I'm going to add that here. And let me rerun this script again. So now let us check what is coming inside the feature array list. Okay, now the data is proper. So brand name, ID, laptop name, and feature list. So all the data is coming properly. Now let us convert this into a parameterized test. So here I will create one more static method that is public static array list of laptop bag get test data so return and this method we need to use the annotation at the rate parameters Okay, so there is a already method defined with this name. So I'm going to change the name of this method. Now I'll create the parameters. So let me comment out this piece of code. Public laptop bag bag and the annotation is parameter. The reason why I created the variable of type laptop bag because this method is going to return us the array list of laptop bag. That means it is going to supply one by one the object which is present inside this array list to this. And now we can take the help of the post method. So this is the post method with object mapper. Place it here. This will be replaced by bag dot get ID and uncomment this line as well as we need to extend our test class from the base class because all the rest assured parameter are defined in that. And now let me run this. So as you can see here, the test is reading data from the file and executing it. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.